Hey everyone! Wild Terra 2 New Lands is a new MMORPG game recently released as early access game on Steam. In today's video I will show you my first impressions and starting gameplay, so stay with me for next few minutes to see how this new MMORPG game looks like and feels under the fingers. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to see more MMORPG videos in the future. I am following all informations from beautiful world of MMORPG gaming and when I see something interesting is happening or if I see some useful informations, you will see that here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Ok, let's play Wild Terra 2 A New Lands. So this is the screen you will see in front of you on the start of the game. You can choose between uh, different servers. Let's check the servers. North America 1, North America 2, Europe 1, 2, Russia, South America, Asia and Australia. Actually, yeah, this is uh, really lots of servers to choose from. I'm surprised. I was thinking like maybe I will be able to choose between two or three servers maybe, because this is early access game on Steam right now, but as you can see, lots of servers. Also we have here some options, let's check this out, video options, uh, yeah, quality, window mode, basically that's it. Then I have here sound options, not uh, too many options regarding uh, sound and video options, but uh, yeah, okay. So let's choose one of the servers. I will pick, uh, since I am in Europe, I will pick uh, Europe 2 and let's go to play. Okay, so this is now a character creation window, obviously. Select a character or create a new one. Let's create a new one. Okay, so I can pick between a feudal lord and the peon. I will pick a lord, of course, and I can choose between a female. On the right side, you can see I can choose between female and the male. Let's check how is male looking. Okay, graphics, well, pretty decent. I mean, nothing too special so far, but pretty decent. Let's choose, let's choose female. Usually I play with females in most MMORPGs. I cannot uh, turn her around. No. Skin color. Uh, okay, let's put like this something. Two tails. Ah, this is uh, shape of the hair. So I can put here long hair. Ponytail. That's it. Basically, there is just a few... Uh, few ways uh, to adjust your hair let's put this uh, flexible uh, flexible tail and we have hair color okay let's put something more no not like this let's put something more dark and this is it regarding the character creation appearance of your character uh, so basically you can choose between female and or male a skin color and uh, shape of hair and hair color and I don't see any more options looks like uh, this is it so regarding character creation not too many options but this is a survival kind of MMORPG game so let's see how will this look let's enter name I hope name is not taken usually I take this name in most MMORPGs and uh, let's go create character Okay, character is here. So obviously all of my characters in the future will be here uh, situated on this uh, part of the screen. Let's now play with Asgardia. Let's click on start. And let's see what will happen. Okay, I'm in the West Forest. And obviously it's a night here. So night and day. It will be a thing here in this game. And first thing which I have noticed here, I can zoom out and zoom in. And this is really nice thing because I, I have played lots of MMORPGs lately where I cannot uh, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, here I can do that. 
and on the let's see uh, how is actual user interface looking wait let me start to move a little bit so moving in this game is uh, w a s d okay cool and what can we see on user interface in the right upper corner we have some kind of uh, mini map radar then we have a quest uh, tracker okay this is good in the lower part of the screen we will be able to put uh, register some items as you can see one two three four until uh, nine actually we have zero also we can put register some skills and items okay so far this is looking interesting so let's move a little bit let's see how is this looking i'm moving now during the night i see some other player what is he doing okay oh we have a river here some kind of okay so far this is looking pretty interesting right so perspective is isometric obviously here uh let me see can i okay so if i press a mouse wheel i can turn around change perspective basically a little bit i will zoom out this is maximum now a zoom out i can already see uh, some buildings here this is uh, these are buildings from players who are already playing i see some animals i can probably attack that animals i will try to do that later so use keys i have done that complete quest okay use mouse that this is the next quest use mouse wheel to zoom uh okay that ha i have done that right that's it right uh -huh, okay quest done so basically first quests here uh, are easy as you can see uh, there are some quests which are just uh, <clears throat> showing you how to play the game basically as a reward i have get some items where that uh, i will that get the items. search around find and gather wild root crop okay oh this is it let's gather something wow so gathering okay obviously obviously this is a survival kind of mmorpg game gathering will be a thing let's uh, collect i see lots of players around me let's complete this quest and let's check my inventory inventory is usually on i on keyboard yep it's here so i have this item here okay a root crop can i register that item yeah i can register and, and if i press one i'm using it really cool as food okay i have completed another quest uh, by accident because i went into inventory this is good okay yeah so you can see now i have uh, more than one quest i have like three quests now gathering stones uh, gathering branches wild apple tree let's check a little bit user interface what can i do here in the right lower part of the screen what we have we have inventory okay looking normal user interface is looking pretty good right pretty simple a uh, clean not too many colors i like this then we have character equipment okay okay this is interesting so this is very similar we can say to the most uh, other mmorpgs nowadays you have equipment i see here many parts of the gear regarding armor and uh, some weapons here on the right side there are some other items these are accessories i see rings earrings probably what is this uh, base let's click here attack speed aha uh -huh, here will be stats stats will be probably here on the right side of this uh, user interface okay let's go forward let's check what is this i see sign of anvil craft and build okay so this is a survival mmorpg so here we should have lots of options let's see items oh yes oh check this list this list is really aha uh -huh, it's even additionally oh this is really a huge list so you can craft a different kind of uh survival tools axe hammers hatchets lots of different kind of as you can see knives hatchets buckets oh there is lots armor and clothes okay this is interesting there is so many options here 
Okay, they have, I'm just clicking uh, randomly throughout this uh, crafting uh, gear, crafting items we can say. There is so many options, weapons, swords, spears, wow, this is really nice. They have developed really in details, as you can see, alchemy, healing, snares, agriculture, pottery, cookery, building kits, materials, buildings. Okay, this should be interesting because uh, buildings, yeah, you can make buildings here. Also, very long list. Buildings, survival, campfire. Okay, this is on the start. Town halls, basic, extended. Palisade, vessels, log houses, wow, really, I must say, this is really beautiful to see, so many options, look at this, I'm just scrolling a little bit throughout, there is so many items to craft and build, this is really insane, really nice to see that, okay, so crafting and building, a huge thing, and probably the most important thing here in the game, okay, let's go forward, we have here life skills, obviously, collecting. We have gathering, lumberjacking, mining, skinning, agriculture, and fishery. And if I click on one of those, it will show me my level, my maximum level and current level. And I'm getting some uh, bonuses for uh, developing these life skills. And this uh, user interface uh, is showing a little bit more colors, but not too much. Also looking, wow, really cool, right? Okay, so these are life skills. Then we have further action. Okay, let's see what is this. Action, I can do many things. I can do crying, really. My character is crying now. Yeah, looks like my character is crying. Let's see. Let's click on this one. Yeah, these are basically emotions, talk, wave, uh, stretching, pointing. We have lots of options. Also pretty decent amount of options. Okay, what else we have here? Uh, then we have quests. Uh, we have seen that this is a quest log. You can see it on the right side, but you can enter that quest log also by uh, clicking here on this icon in the right uh, lower corner then we have uh, guild really guilds uh, you are not in any guild yet join an existing one or create your own in a city on the mainland so guild system is also here in the game and now i'm surprised regarding that i didn't expect to be honest with you guild system i did expect some kind of uh, highly developed crafting and building system like we have seen that like one minute ago but also guild system really nice uh this is guild and what else we have here party oh so okay so you can invite obviously you, you can enter here name and you can invite some player to play with you in the group this is pretty nice and let's see how is user interface looking so when i look now in front of me it looks pretty decent another player here Look at this, he's gathering something, stone. And so user interface is looking pretty nice. In the left upper corner, I can see my HP, uh, health. Okay, this is a red thing. And green thing is uh, stamina. Chat, normally in the left uh, lower corner. This is looking pretty nice. Let's move a little bit around. What I need to do here, I need to gather some stone. Okay, let's move a little bit around. I see lots of trees here. Graphics are pretty decent. Oh, I see some stone here, not that one, I cannot. Oh, so I need to craft uh, some, as you can see, I am required here. Yeah, so you need to craft a different kind of tools to be able to actually gather some materials. Okay, stone pile, I can gather this, let's do this. Ah, okay, so I can fail if my skill level of gathering is too low. Now I have increased my skill of uh, level of uh, gathering. 
this is pretty interesting, I must say. Game looks uh, pretty cool, I must say. This perspective uh, from maximum uh, zoom out is really good. As you have seen, character creation, not too many options. However, regarding the game itself, when you enter the game, as you can see, there are many options here. You can move also by left uh, mouse click. Right mouse click is attack. Yeah, right mouse click is attack and left mouse click is uh, moving and gathering. Uh, as you can see, many options after you enter the game and uh, highly developed crafting system and building system. It's really nice to see. Graphics are pretty decent, I must say. Pretty decent. Because don't forget, this is this kind of perspective. 2D, isometric kind of game. This is not a 3D uh, game like we usually play MMORPG games. F so for this perspective, this uh, point of view, it has a pretty decent uh, graphics. I must say uh, I am surprised on really good way regarding uh, Wild Terra 2. And for sure I will spend... Uh, I will spend uh, next week by playing this game. I want to develop a little bit uh, feeling more how this game feels under the fingers. So far it feels pretty good. It's an early access game right now on Steam. As you can see, there are some players around me playing this game on the map. And uh, this could be something really interesting. If you like this kind of games, if you uh, don't mind this kind of 2D perspective, isometric perspective, try to play this game. So far, under the fingers, it feels pretty good. And as you have seen regarding graphics and user interface, yeah, developers of the game have done a pretty good job. Let's see what will happen with this game in the future. So, so far I wanted to show you in today's video just this starting gameplay of Wild Terra 2 New Lands and so that you can see actually how the game looks and feels under the fingers. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. See you soon.